Hello from Disney's Animal Kingdom Park, or should I say Jumbo? I had to do that. <laughs> Today I'm excited, I'm actually meeting up with my friend who has a friend in town, and we're doing like, anytime somebody's in town, you have to do like a full proper Disney day, so that is what's happening. Today's gonna be all about the kingdoms. We're starting here at Animal Kingdom, and then I know she said they wanna go to Magic Kingdom tonight, so we're gonna have some park hopping today. Today's basically gonna be the kingdom day. It's Animal Kingdom and Magic Kingdom, both the kingdoms. <laughs> Which way should we head in? Should we go to the left to the right? Left or right? Ah, there's a lot of people over there. Let's go to the left. Oh, that's funny. That lady has my same shirt. I'm wearing my Disneyland best day ever shirt today. It's funny. I was actually talking to some friends last night about wanting to get back to Disneyland. Disneyland also just started their whole Pixar fest and everything out there. And I definitely am like, I have the bug to go to Disneyland. Like I, I love Disneyland Park. Just the fact that it's the original theme park. I wasn't even planning to talk about this today, but yeah, I, I would love to get out and do a California trip. I think that would be so fun. My friend just texted me. They're heading over. They just got out of Nemo, the Nemo show, and we're going to plan to meet in Pandora. And I think the game plan is to ride Navi River Journey. I always like how they do the transition from Rest of Animal Kingdom into Pandora. They slowly start the theming with the Ace trash cans and everything. And the music goes from like the ambiance, typical Animal Kingdom music into the crickets and all the, are they even crickets? Like what are the animals on Pandora? Or the insects for that matter? Pandorian crickets. I don't really know. <laughs> very excited to see. I love testing out this camera on different attractions and I haven't yet taken this on Navi River Journey so I want to see how the low light does. This is like, I get so excited it's like I have a new toy. <laughs> like it's the little things in life that bring me joy. Like I get so excited to test it out on different attractions. So yeah, this is the DJI Osmos maiden voyage on Navi River Journey. Oh gosh, it's 120 minutes. Woo! But we have good friends to chat with. <laughs> Hello, okay, so let me update you on our day so far. I met up with my friends here at Animal Kingdom. We first went to ride um, Navi River Journey. It was posted 120 minutes, but we were like, you know, we're gonna do it. We get in line, the line was barely moving. We maybe waited for like a half hour, 45 minutes, barely moved. And then they made an announcement saying that our wait's going to be even higher because they're operating at one third capacity. Never what you wanna hear. So we decided, we made the executive decision to bail out of Navi River Journey. We went over to um, Pandora there, had lunch. I got my staple, my cheeseburger pod, always a go-to for me. And now we are actually going to make our way over to Magic Kingdom. My friends, they had gotten here kind of earlier in the morning and did everything that they wanted to do. And now it's time for Magic Kingdom. They're trying to make it over to catch the parade. So we walked out of the park together. I just did a little pit stop though over here at um, Rainforest Cafe. I'm gonna insert that footage. If you saw my past couple videos I've been talking about, we've been trying to get my dad this Hawaiian shirt that he loves here at Rainforest Cafe and they've been out of his size. I was able to just get it, so let me show you that. Gift shop at Animal Kingdom. I am still on the hunt for that Hawaiian shirt for my dad and I'm going to find it. <laughs> I'm hoping that they restocked. And I'm hoping maybe this one's not as frequented as the one at Disney Springs. All right, where's it at? I don't even see it. So far, I do not see it. Oh wait, I see it, I found it. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Looks like they have more stock, okay. This is it right here. This is the shirt. Will they have the size? It's funny, I actually saw a guy wearing this, so I know it's a very popular thing. Oh, <gasps> they have one. Oh my gosh, they have the size he needs. Amazing. Success, I got it. <laughs> Such a win, oh my gosh. I was so excited because I was flipping through and it was like, okay, not his size, not his size. And then they had it. Amazing, this has been a saga and we finally got it, guys. So yeah, shopping success. Now um, I have to show you this too. Oh, where'd they go? This waterfall is actually turned off, but there's still a little bit of water in the bottom. And I just saw some cute Disney ducks were swimming around. 
But anyway, I'm now gonna make my way back to my car. Figured it'd be better just to have my car because we're ending the night at Magic Kingdom. So I'm not gonna take a Disney bus. I just wanna move my car over there and then I'm gonna meet up with my friends once again. And we're gonna do some Magic Kingdom festivities. We were talking about when we were sitting there having lunch what we want to do. Um, I know they really want to meet some characters and that'll be fun. If you watch my vlogs, you know, it's kind of rare that I do character meet and greets and I always enjoy it. I just don't know why when I'm by myself, I don't seek that out. So it's fun having people that want to do character meets. Before I leave Animal Kingdom though, I'm actually gonna go ahead and insert um, some footage that I had from Safari the other day because I came over here and I had vlogged the Safari but ended up I was catching up with a friend and really didn't film much of anything else. So it seriously was, I think, the best Safari that I've had in the longest time. We heard the lions roar. It was so cool. So as I'm driving over to Magic Kingdom, I'm gonna leave you with that. Enjoy the Safari. <laughs> That's a good afternoon. Yeah. And Jumbo, everybody. My name's Ben. I'm going to be your safari guide. I'm going to go along the Harambe Wildlife Reserve. I'm really excited that you're here with us now. Let's see inside of the water there. First off here, though, see the great birds on our right? These are the pink back pelicans. We call them this because of the little pink square that appears on their backs. It only appears about three months a year, though, so it's not there right now. These three months are the summer months, June, July, August, so it'll start being formed really soon out here. If you come back during that season, one of the things you probably see this bird doing is walking around this river, probably standing in the road. They're trying to look for the biggest stick that they can. That's what they showed to their partners, trying to impress each other. It's like they're telling them, hey, look, I'm going to build you a big home. It's very romantic. All right, keep on looking in this water for those big shadows. See if we can find any of these aquatic animals out here now. So we got some of the Nile crocodiles going up on our legs. Crocodiles have an incredibly powerful bite, biting up to 3,700 pounds per square inch. Look at them eating up so cool. They also have really cool survival skills too. A crocodile can go up to an entire year with no food at all. I'm completely fine by the end. The ones you see there though, they're fed weekly. They're still a little bit spoiled. <laughs> All right, I think it's time we tell you more about the giraffe. We're getting a little bit closer to them over here now. We're about to see a whole lot of giraffe together in a group. A group of giraffe like this is called a tower of giraffe. The reason being for that is they tower over. The main thing they use their height to their advantage for is going to be reaching their food from trees. The main source of food is the leaves hanging by the bottoms. Every giraffe here is equipped with an extra long tongue to reach that food. Their tongues are about 16 to 20 inches long. It's like the size of an average form. Besides their ears, though, I think one of the coolest parts of this elephant is that big trunk in front of their face. That trunk has about 40 times more muscle than what human bodies have. You know, it's just like how we saw with the rhinos at the start. Their backs are also a little bit dirty. That's because elephants have the same skin that rhinos do. Their skin is also sensitive to the sun. I know it was a while ago, but you remember when I told you that rhinos roll around in the mud because it's like sunblock for them? Elephants do the same thing, but they have their trunk. They don't need to roll around like rhinos. Just grab that door with their trunks, flicking it right onto their back. That is not the newer baby elephant. So elephants grow really slow. So She's behind the tree. I she, saw her She's earlier. about five oh, years old, that, that smaller looking oh, elephant gosh, over there. Really? She's over here. Or about three months old. So she's really little. I'm not sure she's out right now. Usually around this time of day is when she goes in. I saw her right before we Did you say you saw her when we were coming in? She's over there somewhere. We're talking about like in that back corner over there? Yeah, somewhere For over those of you who have no clue what we're talking about, there's <laughs> a baby elephant that was just born here on the reserve. She is absolutely adorable. So hope we can see her out here. So try to, I was hearing look towards the back corner over here on our left. I don't see any more elephants over there, but we do have a lot easier to see from our left the flamingos there. When you see a group or herd of flamingos, you're going to call that a flamboyance. When you look at the flamingos, one of the things you might notice is that some of them in there are a brighter shade of pink than the others. It's a lot like what the football players do in their eyes. They're like a pair of sunglasses. I hope the cheetahs see easier when it's dead. You can hear them up to five miles away. You're almost as loud as my mother at 6 a.m. on Saturdays. <laughs> see if we can get you a little closer. It's pretty rare to hear lions roar on our safaris. They sleep up to 20 hours a day. Doesn't well, that sound nice? There they are, just right back to sleep now. Well, the main reason that lions stay asleep for so long is because they want to reserve their energy when they're going out hunting. 
It's gonna be the lioness or the female up there though. She's the one that does all their hunting for them. Well, the males stick back. They're gonna work on protecting their cubs. Just because males don't hunt does not mean they're lazy. They're kind of like stay at home dads. They're staying back protecting their own family. But we're gonna like to keep around a couple of the Nigerian dwarf goats. Just look at them, they're absolutely <laughs> adorable. That is a fact. Look at little legs. Besides being cute, they have milk, but also really high in protein. The one that lives here, they're actually gonna use that for us to create some healthy dairy products. That's a pretty useful for us as well. So earlier, I told you a little bit. So I told you about cold chain mining, how to recycle old electronics. Another tip for us, which that's a little bit easier, it's for today while you're right here in the park with us. Hi, coffee lovers, head to our Starbucks. This is the park. We call our Starbucks creature comforts some kind of bougie here. <laughs> uh, once you're there, you order a flat white. It's like a type of latte. All of the money from flat whites here goes directly towards helping monkeys in the wild. Specifically, you get the opportunity to help some of the cotton top tamarins, which you can see right outside of Creature Comforts, too. I didn't know that. That's I think that's a cool win-win for you. Though. You can help some monkeys out, get a little bit of caffeine into your system at the same time. It's definitely a game changer for park day, speaking from experience. <laughs> Welcome back from Animal Kingdom. I just parked at Magic. Now I either have to take the boat or the monorail. Both of them are currently here. Oh, the monorail's pulling away. Mm, let's take the boat then. <laughs> That's the thing about Magic Kingdom is it's always like driving to Magic Kingdom. It's always then just a production to get into the park. It's Walt Disney's philosophy. The reason he designed Magic Kingdom this way, that you have to park and then it takes you like a good half hour to still either monorail or ferry boat into the park was he wanted you to be able to have that like decompressed moment and get in the mindset of Magic Kingdom. So I appreciate it. But as a local, sometimes you just <laughs> want to pull up to the front of the park. The ferry boat is my favorite. Oh, it looks like they're closing the gates. Maybe I'll go back to the monorail then. Yeah, I'll wait for the next monorail. The monorail is faster, I believe, but my favorite mode of transportation is the ferry boat, if you can hit it just right. I just like the views. When you want to plan your next Walt Disney World vacation, go ahead and reach out to my friends at 407 and Beyond Vacation Company. You can get a free quote anytime by visiting 407vacations.com. That's the best feeling. Right when I walked up the ramp, another one came. Amazing. I got over here quick. There we go. It's always nice when you're walking up and another one just comes. Perfect. Festival of Fantasy is literally just getting ready to come down Main Street. My friend said that they grabbed a spot for it. They had taken the bus over here and just got into the park as well. This is a good entrance into Magic Kingdom. We're gonna watch Festival of Fantasy right off the bat. Thankfully, I'm washing my hair tonight, so. There you go. 
I'm sure it will still be in there. You'll recover. <laughs> it's going to take at least five washes to get it all out. It's a magical day. It's a magical, yeah, it's a magical day. day. So we're, we're we making all our wishes and dreams. Yes, yes, we are. What's your name? What's that? Like? Uh, Where are you talking from? Wonderful. All right, Megan. I'm giving the biggest wish you could ever imagine, Megan. With a little bit of faith, a little bit of trust, and a little bit of pixie dust. Oh, and you as well. Thank, Thank you, you so much. You. Best one, <laughs> Here, how much glitter do we have? Very sparkly. We're very sparkly. And, and I love it. <laughs> we should always look like this. This is just Do you want pixie dust too? Would you like pixie dust? What's that? Keeping with the fairy tale theme, we're now going to meet princesses. We're going to meet Cinderella and Elena on this side. Much to catch up on. <laughs> It's like being in the castle. Somebody tell us, who are these people? Oh look, the books actually have like, names. Oh, they're Cinderella, okay. You see that? They're like different fairy tale names. There's a Cinderella one. Cinderella? I bet that's the Frost Prince. Probably. Probably like the original, like Grimm Brothers stories. Next up, we're getting on Small World. Only 20 minute wait. There you go. It's been a minute since I've done this as well. We got front row. It's a special day. It is a special day. Special day. so cute because you actually get to go into Belle's cottage back here and through a little magic you go into the portal up to the castle it's like the most adorable effects if you have little kids you have to do this show
That is gonna do it for today's video. This was so much fun. I then spent a lot of time off camera with my friends catching up. These Disney days are always so much fun. Like I had mentioned at one point in this video, my friend had a friend in town. And so whenever we have people in town, you always have to do a proper Disney day. So there was lots of park hopping, lots of fun, but I enjoyed getting to film some clips and it's nice to have these memories to look back on with everybody. And got to do some different things like the Princess Fairy Tale Hall, Enchanted Tales with Belle, things that I don't usually stop to do. So that was really exciting about this day. So I hope that you enjoyed it. And with that, make today magical and I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye guys.